Hello YouTubers, Hammy Tech here, Hammy Technoid, and today we're out in the living room and the subject of today's video is going to be this magnificent machine right here, the DBX 1020 Computing Equalizer. Computerized Equalizer Analyzer is what it's called by the by its own company. And uh, it is a an equalizer par excellent. Um, it's not parametric. But it really, you know, when it comes down to it, it really doesn't need to be because it computes the best equalization curve for your room by itself. Um, it has a microphone that you use. You put pink noise into the room and it analyzes the pink noise and tells you where the frequencies need to go. Okay, and I'm just going to run through some quick little little things here on the front. You can see it's got the display where the uh, the flatness is. Right now it's set to flat. And this little area over here where it's marked memory, this is a very interesting section because you have 10 little memories here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And each one now is set to flat. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change some of these frequencies. I'm going to boost up the bass, boost up the middle, and I'm going to boost up the highs a little bit on there. You see, and it take down the little low, the mid bass there, take that down a bit. And now, if I think that's a good setting, I can save it, okay, by just hitting this button here. It says enter memory. All right, I enter memory, and I want to put that into memory one. So now, I go to memory two, which was set flat before, but I go back to memory one, and there's the one I just changed. Okay, so I can have that one as memory one. Now, suppose I want to have some other variation for a specific song that I want to really, you know, make sound horrible or something. Because um, if you mess with the EQ too much, the music sounds horrible. But yeah, this curve here, I'm going to now enter into memory number two. Boom. So this is back to memory one, which we had before. This is now memory two. And there's memory three, which is flat still. Okay, so let's change some more EQ. Let's bump up the mid bass and drop the low bass really bad so we don't have any bass at all. And let's drop the treble so it sounds stinky, so there's no highs. Okay, so then we want to save that curve too. I'm going to save that one into number three. Okay, so now we got memory one there, number two, and number three. Okay, so, well, I want to mix them together. How do I do that? Well, you can. With this, de with this machine, you can do what's called the average compute, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter in the ones I want to compute. So I enter in memory one, memory two, and memory three, and then I hit compute. And that is the average of all those three that I put in before. And now if I want to save that one, I just hit memory and I can put it to number four. So I got one memory, two memory, three memory, and four, which is the average of them all, okay? And one other thing that this machine does is really beautiful. It's a real-time analyzer, and you can watch your music play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on now, and look at that. That is the music that was just playing, and the song is, I think, ending now. So everything is going to fade out. Yeah, there it goes to zero, and it's fading out. And this number here represents the mid-level of the signal strength, and the sensitivity of the screen, the RTA, real-time analyzer, is constantly changing so that the dots are always in the middle and not peeking out. You don't want them to peek out because then you can't see the true values. So this is following the music, and you see there's the bass, there's the mid-range, and that's the vocals that he's singing. And then there's highs up here, which are cymbals and, uh, you know, tambourines and such. So... This is how you can watch your music play, and it's mesmerizing and hypnotizing and very, very pretty to do. Now, if you want to set your room so that you can have the microphone and everything is totally flat, what you do is you plug the microphone into this slot here, and you go over here and you turn on pink noise. And pink noise, I'm going to turn some pink noise on. There is your pink noise. That is what you play with the microphone going so that you can set everything flat. All right, now we're going to turn that down and turn the pink noise off and back to the music. So this is my quick demo of the DBX 1020. 
I got this one from eBay. It was in really good shape. I think these went for about $1,200 when they were new back in the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I got that for a fraction on eBay, and I'm glad I did. It's a magnificent piece of equipment. Uh, and this is my demo for today, and thank you very much for watching. If you want to, subscribe. If you want to, thumbs up. Until later, next time, see you.